Hi, my name is Selena and welcome to Live Light Well. Hi guys, welcome to Live Light Well. So today, because of popular request, I'm going to make tamarind juice for fasting and just for everyday refreshment and regular diet. There are two ways that you can make it. You can either soak the tamarind in boiling water for you know a several hours or even overnight, and then you kind of mash it up and release it and strain it. I'm going to do the method today where I boil it. And one of the key things I use when I make my tamarind juice is ginger, because ginger just, it assists the liver and gallbladder, but it brings out all of the flavor in the tamarind. I don't add sugar, I don't add any syrup. Sometimes I add limes, but not all the time. So the limes are mainly decorative in this, uh, but you can add the limes. When you do boil uh, the tamarind, then it does tend to be slightly sweeter, but not too much more. Tamarind is a tangy, alkaline drink, slightly sour. So there's really no need to add sugar to it. And sugar causes us to thirst anyway. Why not just have a refreshing drink? So let's get started. I'm going to start by using two and a half boxes of this dried sweet tamarind. I use this brand best. It's just the one that I find always at Superstore. You can use any brand. I also use ginger. Since I'm using two and a half boxes of tamarind, I'm going to use probably about three fingers of ginger. This is a really big hunk. And I'm going to use about six limes in this just to add a bit of flavor, but you don't need to use any limes at all. I like this best brand of tamarind and as you can see I'm breaking them up and putting them in here. This is These are the pods they come in. I like to use at least one glove when I'm doing this because it gets kind of sticky and I don't want it sticking to my fingers and I don't want people licking their fingers because it's very sticky stuff. So this is how you break it open. You just break open the pod Try not to get any of the pieces of the pod in there. And then you uh, get the, all of the shell off of it. And then you simply take off this kind of what I call a net. And it comes off very easily. So you just crack it like you would a peanut separate all of the hull and then you just peel off. It's like kind of like deveining shrimp, only not as stinky or unclean. So now I take my ginger and I peel all of the skin off of it. Just use, I always use a potato peeler for everything. So then you can uh, peel in the ginger if you want. It just makes it faster to break it down in the pot. Or you can just chop it up into pieces. Or you can mince it and then just throw it in the pot. So then you fill your pot with water. Fill it all the way up to the top, almost to the top. So you can fill this pot with boiling water and either A, let it soak for a while. But what I do is I do boil mine. Um, I just heat it up 
to a boil and then I let it simmer on low. So I just mix everything together. And cover it. Now a lot of people, I've done it before in the past where you just let the fruit soak up the water and with where it's on uh, boiled water but I find cooking it a bit I like that because I don't add any sugar to this at all I don't add any syrup I like it just plain there's natural sugar in the fruit even if you don't boil it so there's no sugar in this recipe if you want to add date sugar or agave syrup later that's optional but I do not add it I don't think it's necessary it's a sourish drink and that's the way it's supposed to be and it's more refreshing. I find that sugar as a rule is not at all refreshing to me. Sugar causes you to thirst so it's best to avoid sugar in the form of syrups or anything at all. So I just put it in the pot. I have allowed it to boil here and so now I'm starting to use a potato masher to just mash the fruit on the husks up so it can get broken down and integrate with the liquid. So you see it's getting quite stew-like. breaking up so just gonna simmer it probably in total for about 20-30 minutes and then I'm gonna strain it so this is looking really good I've mashed it a few times so you see it's just a lot of mainly we're seeing all the seeds so now it's a, just gonna stir it and then I'm going to strain it. And I'm just going to stir it with a spoon. You can also use a food mill, which I have one of those. I may just add a little bit of more water just to make sure I get all of the juice out of the fiber, as much of it out as possible. Do one more pass with some more water because I want to get all as much of the juice out as possible out of the fiber. So if the fiber is still tasting flavorful, then you, know, you can get more juice out of it. See all the seeds are revealing themselves. So now I'm going to slice up some limes. I'm going to put about six limes in there. But you actually don't have to do this. This is optional. I do it every once in a while. Mainly the tamarind and the ginger are just perfect together. It goes so well with ginger. So that's about six limes. And I'm just going to mix it up. Taste a little bit. Sometimes I'll leave some pieces of ginger in it just to keep the flavor going as it's stored in the fridge. Mm, I don't think it needs any sugar at all. Wonderful. So then you just put it with ice. So some of the benefits of tamarind are that it prevents the hardening of the arteries, it moderates blood pressure, it fights free radical damage, normalizes bowel movements, minimizes wrinkles, hair loss, dry skin, 
helps fight viral infections, supports the gallbladder, helps cure conjunctivitis, boosts metabolism, and fights Crohn's, IBS, and colitis. So here's the final product. And you don't need to put a lot of limes in it because it's very tart already. But it's also very sweet, so you don't need to add sugar. The limes will make it so that you need to add some syrup or sugar. So just keep it simple. These are more decorative than anything else. So one of the things I'll also do is just keep some ginger in the bottom of a container of it that I can drink later. The ginger really works in combination with the tamarind to keep it sweet and spicy. So here I am guys for the taste test. refreshing so you can always add water or you can keep it really thinner or thicker depending on how much refreshment and liquids you want or flavor versus flavor I drink it hot when I'm making it and I drink it, it cold also so enjoy and thank you again so much for watching don't forget to eat well eat life bless and we'll see you in the next one please like and subscribe and share ciao